St. Johnsbury taking the floor as the reigning champs after dethroning CVU last year, but the Red Hawks were the hands down favorite entering play unbeaten this season. It's a perfect start for CVU. Catherine Gilwey from long range bottoms up to start the game. Toppers with an answer on the other end. Josie Schweiner from the same spot. Then the vision to find Sadie Stetson a little kiss off the glass. St. J up a point nine eight after the first. In the second, Red Hawks fall behind by six, but they get right back in it by the long ball. McKenna Boyd connects initially, then Catherine Gilwey from the wing. Red Hawks, a perfect five for five from beyond the arc in the half, and we're tied at 17 at recess. In the third, it goes from a state championship game to the Neva Bostic show. Give her the three plus the foul. A four point play for the topper senior. Later in the quarter, Bostic again on fire. They actually turned off the heat in the building and just let her warmth radiate throughout the place. Bostic outscores CVU 10 to herself in the third. Red Hawks in serious jeopardy of losing their first game all season. Kaylee Bayor caps off a 5-0 CVU spurt to start the third, but the Red Hawks can't quite climb the hill. St. J sinks its free throws down the stretch and the toppers remain on the throne. They pull off the upset, taking down the previously unbeaten Red Hawks for the D1 crown. I think since it's the second year in the road, it's in my last year, it's more like sentimental because it's end off on a good note. And we certainly did end off on a good note, both for two years straight, that's awesome. It's, you know, great. Well, we were kind of the underdog this year, I guess, coming in, they were undefeated. So it just like, I don't know, we were kind of came in confident and knew we could beat them. And it's just a great feeling, especially getting able to experience it twice. Congrats to the Hilltoppers who cap off back-to-back -back championship seasons.